What's up, guys? Back to a new video, and this is What If Naruto Had a Dojutsu Part One. Let's get into it. Now, you start this off with Naruto running through the bushes. And before I start this, Naruto has a higher intellect than Shikamaru, and pretty much everyone in his class. In fact, his intellect is known to rival the Naruto clan. And let's get into the video. Naruto thinks to himself, shit, if I don't get there soon, my team is gonna die. Finally, he jumps down and shoots a fireball at Haku's ice moves and a lightning bolt straight at Zabuza, who dodges it and says, your student's impressive, Kagashi. I must say, but mine is better. And Kakashi says, yeah, 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 I'll believe it when I see it. And Naruto sees Sasuke inside of the mirrors and he realizes not even a scorch mark was on there. And Haku says to Naruto, these, mirror to, these mirrors are unbreakable. No weapon, sword, or even jutsu can break this. And Naruto shoots a lightning bolt and says, hmm, seems it reflects these things. Well, I have a plan. Naruto jumps in the ice mirrors and says, yo, Sasuke. And he says, you idiot you could have done something outside and he says actually logically i couldn't that's why i came inside i'll be able to do something inside of here and he says to haku i can tell you're holding back so why haku says so you could see what do you want me to do and naruto says show us no mercy haku says okay haku throws a wall of ice senbon straight at naruto who could barely dodge it but Sasuke jumps in the way, taking all of the hits. And Naruto looks pissed. Haku says, what's wrong? Can you not take the sight of death? But all of a sudden, a weird pattern appears in Naruto's eyes. And the shining blue in his normal eyes fades into a darker yet lighter and greyer tone. Naruto can see the actual Haku. And he rushes at him and says, Gektai. All of a sudden, Haku was sent flying into hundreds of trees. Naruto appears behind him and says, Gektai. All of a sudden, pushing him forward. That means repel, by the way, just in case you didn't know. And Haku says, What? How is he doing this? And Naruto appears in front of him. He kicks Haku up and says, Gektai pushing him high into the sky, and he jumps up, repelling himself using Gikitai. So basically, he's just spamming this ability to move around. And he axe kicks Haku's neck down into the ground, same as his face. Haku spits out a pool of blood as soon as Naruto punches him in the stomach and says, Now then. He puts his hand up into the air and says, Rage and strike! And all of a sudden, Haku drops to the ground. It looks like Haku's dead, but he's really not. Sakura was shocked by Naruto's new ability. As he rushes towards Zabuza, saying Gekitai, repelling him, sending him forward. As Kakashi appears behind Zabuza, kicking him into one of the unbroken ice mirrors that's on the ground. Naruto appears in front of him. As he says, now then. Kami. All of a sudden, Zabuza feels his eyes bleeding, and he's screaming from all the pain, holding his face and squeezing it and says, please stop, and he starts to claw at his skin, ripping some of it off on his arms. Naruto snaps his fingers as Zabuza reawakens and says, what is that? What is that? And Naruto says, you now know the lesson of God. As he repels Zabuza towards Kakashi, who had a Chidori out, stabbing him into Kakashi's hand, killing Zabuza. And Gato comes clapping and says, Well, seems like a kid in his sensei managed to kill the great demon Zabuza Mimoshi. And he says, Shut up, Gato. And Naruto shocked and he's like, You should be dead. And he's like, I'm not. I'm sorry for all I've done, but now I'm going to kill this guy for everything he's done to your village, Tazuna. Don't worry. And Naruto says, 
You should take some rest. We'll heal you up. Once we get back to the village, we'll help you. All of a sudden, a weird cloak appears around Naruto, and he manages to control it. He grabs up his sword and he's running with it with extreme speed. He smashes it into the. Gr he smashes it into the ground. And Naruto says, "Zabuza, since you had a change of heart, we may as well let you live." And he keeps slashing through the bandits, killing them. And he says, "Gato, you'll suffer for what you've done. You are unforgivable." But Tazuna says, no, let us deal with him. Naruto drags Gato towards Tazuna and he says, let me go, you little shit. And Naruto looks at him with a dark look and he says, I'll give you any information you want. Money, power, status, what do you need? And Naruto laughs and says, you have no information I need. As he throws him towards Tazuna, who punches Gato and says, you're gonna be in for a lot of hell in our village. Now tell us where your money is. And he says, I will go. Now Naruto and his whole team, they get back to the village with Zabuza and Haku. Zabuza was healed a bit by Naruto because of his special ability with his Kamiga. That's what the eye is known as. He deactivates it and says, well, Zabuza, I hope you know you're still gonna have to do time in prison, he says. That's okay. I know what I've done is wrong. Naruto says, calm down, it's only two weeks. It's for attacking a leaf shinobi squad. Otherwise, if you didn't and you just joined us, you'll have no time. We're not gonna prosecute you since we're not the mist. Your past time your past crimes will be overlooked. And I'll make the council make you join. As much as they hate me, they've been needing a sword teacher at high junin level since no one is teaching anyone how to use the sword and he looks at kakashi and scoffs naruto was holding zabuza's sword now naruto goes to talk to the council and he explains the whole situation and then he explains how zabuza will be joining them and the civilian council say Tss. and why would you be able to make a decision naruto looks at them and he still has the kami gun activated since he has a large chakra pool, he still has his eyes and he says, Because I could kill all of you within a second. It doesn't matter what you think. I could kill you all. My decision is final compared to yours. And he looks at Harrison and says, Plus, haven't you need a sword teacher for a while? And he says, I have. I accept Naruto. And the civilians are like, This is preposterous. Harrison, you need to put it to a vote. And Danzo says, I agree with them. And Harrison says, no, I'm the Hokage, and I've just realized. I am the final decision maker. You shall not go against my word. Naruto says, issue Zabuza two weeks in prison for attacking a leaf sword. He didn't kill anyone or fatally wound us, except from Kakashi, but that's accepted in a journey battle, obviously. Naruto disappears and they're all shot. Naruto feels the ache in his eyes disappear and he's like, God, that was really draining. Oh, this is a new experience. Now, Naruto has two weeks before the tuning exams and he says, I may as well train, learn how to activate my eyes. We're going to skip to the exams and we're also going to skip through the unimportant parts like the written exam where Naruto passes and a few people. Naruto opens his scroll satchel that's on his back and he realizes he has an earth scroll and he says, shit, I need a heaven scroll. And Naruto activates his Kami gun, seeing into the future and he realizes, well, a squad's gonna come near us soon. He tells Sasuke to turn another way and same as Sakura. And they follow Naruto until they find Orochimaru's squad, who is about to go looking for Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura. Naruto rushed towards them, and he said, Gekitai, all of a sudden, they're sent flying, and a large explosion is seen. Kind of like Minato's Hirishin technique where he can repel you, but on a greater scale, like Kuma's paws, basically. 
if he was up close and repelled you, sending you flying. Naruto shook the Richimaru. And Richimaru saw the eyes, and Naruto says, I'm going to teach you a lesson. If you think I'm weaker than you, well, you're in for a rude awakening. Genki, which means stamina in Japanese. It boosts his stamina, chakra, speed, and strength. He basically blitzes the unexpected Orochimaru, who jumps backwards after. He sends a large snake at Naruto. Naruto repels Sakura and Sasuke, making it look like he tanked the hit from the snake and being eaten by it. And Sakura was about to scream out Naruto's name, but Naruto was the top of the snake, repelling him down into the ground. He basically was relying on this ability for now. But Naruto realizes this is a stupid move and he needs to be more versatile. And he's like, no, I've relied on this move too much. He repels himself, sending him flying to the other side. And he says, Raijin's impact, sending it down on Orochimaru. As a giant dragon came down and Orochimaru shocked me, he's like, how does a kid have this much chakra? And that dojutsu of his. I want his body instead of you, Chia. I am going to become the strongest shinobi in Leaf history. Just watch me. Naruto and Orochimaru are at a standstill, but Naruto is boosted by his eye, by a few multipliers actually, and the Nine Tails Cloak Two Tails form. Also, his Gekitai ability, which is allowing him to maneuver around the battlefield extremely quickly. So he's only equal to Orochimaru using up all of this chakra of his and he realizes shit my eyes are starting to ache the effect's gonna wear off and he says fine then I guess I'm going to need this special technique he looks at Orochimaru pulling his eye down and says Kami all of a sudden Orochimaru feels his skin flaking and itching. He starts to scratch at it, ripping it off. He's even scratching skin on his neck off, and he rips out his eyeballs, and he's screaming. He even cuts off his tongue with his own kusanagi, and stabs himself in the chest. Sasuke and Sakura were horrified at the ability of Naruto, and they're like, what is this? There's no way. Naruto, you need to stop this. And Naruto says, this is a mere genjutsu that makes him do this. And it looks as if Orochimaru was dead. And he's in the body of the Kazekage next. And he's terrified. He's like, I don't want to meet that kid again. <laughs> and if he has that ability recharged, I don't know what I'll be able to do. Orochimaru had tried to break the genjutsu, but he realized damage will not help you break it. He was literally ripping off skin and nothing happened. Naruto's squad grabs Orochimaru's skull. By the way, Sasuke had been bitten by Orochimaru. And Naruto nearly had been too. We're gonna skip forward a few days. Naruto and his team finally get there. And they pass that part of the exam. Naruto looks at his team and says, This is very serious. I have a theory. That wasn't a regular shinobi. That was a Rochimaru of the Sanin. And they're shocked. They're like, wait, what? And Naruto says, I could sense his chakra. And it's similar to what the third Hokage had told me his chakra's like. It's erupting at the same time it's calm. It's like a snake. It can change at any time. And Sasuke says, it doesn't make sense. Plus, that bite mark he gave me resembles a snake. Naruto says, looks like someone got a hickey. And Sasuke's pissed and he says, shut up. Now, <laughs> we're gonna start off with the first match. Naruto versus Kiba. Naruto decided to make himself blindfolded. And Kiba's pissed by this. And he's like, what, are you underestimating my power? And Naruto says to Kiba, I'm not underestimating you. It's just the fact that this is part of my training. If I find it necessary, I'm going to have to remove this. And Kiba says, well, you're going to lose anyway. He says, um, fang over fang. 
and Naruto dodges Kiba. He puts two fingers up and says, Now then, let me show you. He activates his dojutsu and says, Geketai, pushing Kiba out, sending him flying. And everyone's shocked by this, and even Gara is he's like, what? Now, I'm going to skip forward to Sasuke's match. It goes the same as the original, although the cast mark is more potent. Naruto realizing this helps Kakashi seal it, and they meet Orochimaru in his own form. But Orochimaru was terrified to see Naruto, who was about to use the Kami technique, only to realize Orochimaru disappeared into snakes. Now, Naruto goes back, and he got to the round of Neji and Hinata's fight. Neji's breaking the bones of Hinata constantly. He's about to kill her, but Naruto pushes him out with the Gekatai. And he says, Hinata, are you okay? And he realizes the amount of pain she's in. And he starts to heal her. The crowd is shocked by this ability of his. And Naruto has a blindfold, so no one can literally see. He kind of looks like Gojo, but he doesn't wear a Konoha headband. He actually wears it down on his neck. And he has a something tied around his eyes, basically. Now, Naruto takes Hinata to the infirmary. And we skip forward to the month training arc. No other fight was important in that roster. Naruto realized that he needs to get a lot stronger and stop relying on the Gekatai. He learned many more techniques, like the Jikan Haten. It allows him to reverse time. He also knows the Gyaku Shogeki, which means reverse impact. He also learned he has a lot more abilities. He's clairvoyant, he can boost his body, he can even make himself endure more damage. That's how powerful the Kami Gun is. And there's gonna be more abilities I'm adding on. This is just what he's learning this episode. Naruto realizes Sasuke needs training too. Over that training, Sasuke unlocks his tutor with Sharingan. But he realizes he's not strong enough. Naruto would beat him even without using his Kami Gun, and this is what pissed Sasuke off. And Naruto even had headbands on and seals on. Naruto used a special type of seal that basically limited his power. Sasuke over that fight had used the cast mark and still couldn't beat Naruto. And that's when he decided, I'm going to go to Orochimaru if I don't get promoted. Now we skip to the battles, Neji versus Naruto. Naruto enters the ring as he cracks his knuckles and says, remember every bone that you broke in Hinata's body. I'll do it 10 times worse. And he says, Tss, destiny chose me to, but all of a sudden Naruto slams him down into the ground with a singular punch and he starts pummeling Neji. He even looks at Zabuza who throws his sword over to him. And Naruto starts piercing it a bit into Neji, who starts screaming as Naruto hits it onto Neji, breaking a lot of bones because of how heavy the sword is. He even uses the back to break Neji's bones and throws it off stage. He starts beating into Neji's ribs. And he says, I'm going to teach you a lesson. He uses Gekitai to push Neji out of the roof the arena and then he smashes neji back down with a axe kick nearly killing neji who's barely alive right now but the property calls off the fight and says naruto is maki one as they rush neji to the infirmary his ribs his jaw his arms his legs bro everything is broken in fact he's actually paralyzed Naruto paralyzed him. And everyone was shocked. Even Hiyashi, he was like, even though Neji knew how to use that technique, he lost? How? And Naruto is thinking to himself, well, that's it. And Naruto's gonna have two fights in this. Three when he fights someone else. Now, Sasuke isn't next, actually. I'll say Tamari vs Shikamaru is next. 
Shikamaru's mother had trained him, same as his father, and she forced him to actually try. Shikamaru would learn many new techniques, and ultimately, he did beat Tamari. Next, Naruto vs. Rock Lee. Rock Lee asks Naruto, do you want me to go all out to start? And Naruto says, sure. Rock Lee drops off his weights and goes straight to the fifth gate, nearly being able to learn the seven. So yeah, Rock Lee decided to use this against Naruto. He saw how powerful Naruto was, and Naruto started to rip off seals, throwing them down onto the ground. Overall, he ripped off ten, and this shocked people. And then he pulled off his headband, which people didn't realize had a weight to it, and it made a small impact onto the ground. And even Lee was shocked. And Naruto opens his eyes for them to see his kami gun. He rushes at Lee and they're equally clashing. Naruto's going back and forth in speed with Lee. And Lee realizes Naruto's toying with him and he says, I want you to go all out. Naruto says, So you're fine if I use that technique, huh? He says, Kami. All of a sudden, Lee feels pain in his body. And he starts to rip off skin. And everyone is scared. And Naruto snaps his, snaps his fingers, stopping it. And Lee's like, what was that? Naruto's like, that's me going all out. As you can see, you are about to rip off your skin. As Lee sees a bump, where basically he's bleeding. And Naruto says, but it doesn't matter. And Lee sees his arm healed, as Naruto healed it. And he says, Ngekitai. Shooting Lee up into the sky, and he says, Raijin Impact. Hitting Lee straight in the chest, and he jumps up, axe kicking him down into the ground. But he realizes, Lee took minimum damage from this. Little did he realize, Lee was punching up in the air. And he was basically trying to get velocity into his fist. It's a special technique that Lee and my guy use. It basically allowed him to float down. And Naruto was shocked and he just witnessed this. He could have hit Lee again, but he decided to allow Lee to do this. And says, I'm going to teach you something. Naruto cracks his fingers and he says, I'm not going to use any of my dojutsu. He deactivates it and he says, in fact, I'm just going to use taijutsu. Naruto and Lee are clashing. It seems they're equal in Taijutsu. And my guy is shocked by this. He said, Lee has trained his whole life. And yet, Naruto has only trained for a month and learned how to do this? Naruto and Lee clash again with their feet. Naruto breaking Lee's leg. And he bashes him down into the ground. Kicking him out of the arena. Winning. Naruto bows down to Lee and says, you were a very, very hard match. I wish I could fight you again. Naruto then moves out of the arena as it's time for the most important fight. Sasuke versus Gara. Yeah, Gara gets pissed and he turns into that giant form as Sasuke is terrified. He knows he can't do anything. Naruto gekitize him out of the arena and he says Kami Gara starts to rip the sand off his body and Chukaku even feels himself burning and this affected him He's like I'm a jinn. How is this affecting me? And he's ripping it Basically, he's ripping the sand off of himself Now Shukaku's form disappears in the real world after this Yes, Naruto defeated Gara with a simple Genjutsu that's how powerful Kami is. It's not on the level of Sukuyomi, but it's really close to it. It's hard to break, pretty much. If anything, unbreakable. Now, Naruto realizes what's going on with Haruzen. And he runs to the roof, seeing the sound shinobi inside and the Ombu say, Hey, Genin, it's no use. But they realize it's Naruto and say, Even if it's you, it's no use. As Naruto says, this is why this attack, well, this ability is extremely useful. And he says, Gyaku Shogeki. This is like Gojo's ability. Gojo's ability, Infinity, makes for this accelerator's ability. 
It puts like a shield around Naruto, allowing him to pass through things and shit. Basically, free and tangibility. Naruto walks through, and Orochimaru is shocked. The sound shinobi inside rush at him, but he blitzes them. Then he says, Kami, looking at Orochimaru. He snaps his fingers for Haruzen and takes Haruzen down to the ground and runs out of it. Orochimaru is scared, but this time he manages to actually break it and he says, Finally, this child, it's too strong for you to spam an ability like that. And Naruto says, That wasn't the actual thing I wanted to do. He jumps back and says, now then, if you thought that that was my true strength, you're going to see hell. Katom, go come and cuck! All of a sudden, Orochimaru sees a giant fire appear in front of him, burning him. But he jumps back. He feels fire on his arms and he realizes it's barely going out. And he's like, what? What has this kid learned? And he says, water stir. This is a special technique. Black mist tornado clone. All of a sudden, a dark mist and a few tornadoes appear in it. There are clones with swords in that tornado. And every time the tornado sucks up Orochimaru, he feels a slash on him. This happens to Orochimaru over ten times and he can't see in the black mist. Naruto kicks him up and then axe kicks him down into the roof, sending him down. The barrier was already broken. Naruto starts pummeling Orochimaru, who realizes this is where he could die. And Naruto says, I'm gonna have to use the seal real quick though. God seal, as he seals Orochimaru into a rock for now. He knows this won't last and it will break soon. But this will at least hold him for an hour. He doesn't tell Haruzen about this because he actually wanted to go with Orochimaru. He just wanted to return the favor to Haruzen, who actually helped him in this. Haruzen had saved Naruto so many times, so Naruto returned the favor. Naruto walks to Sasuke and says, You ready to go to Orochimaru? And Sasuke is shocked and he's like, Wait, why are you coming? And he says, To make sure you don't become evil or dark. I've never been liked in this village. I'm going to help you guide yourself. I don't want you to fall into darkness. After all, you are my only friend. Excluding Shikamaru and Choji, but you understand what I mean. And that lessened the meaning to Sasuke and said, Yeah, I guess. Naruto destroys the rock as Orochimaru's like, Why are you breaking this rock? Isn't it? And Naruto said, Let's go. And Orochimaru's shocked and he's like, are you going to train us? And Orochimaru is even more shocked. He's like, I was going to train Sasuke, not you. Naruto's like, I need to leave this village anyway. Are you going to or not? I could always use Kami on you. This was part one. Hope you enjoyed.